Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205. Man, we back for another round at the bar. <laughs> we got independent distilleries. Hellbender is Ryan, though. All right. So it's Hellbender Ryan. Uh, before we even get started, I'm going to let you know Angry Principal found this down in Georgia. Uh, and before we get started, I'm going to also let you know that. You already know. I don't really like rides, so we go see. We we'll go see how this goes. The only ride that I've been excited about was the damn Uncle Nears. Like the Uncle Nears ride was good. So we're going to see what this is about. But first of all, we're going to let Angry Principal tell us a little bit more about where he found it and how he found it. So uh, rolled up on uh, Independent Distillery down at Decatur, uh, just doing some bourbon hunting, just for the fun of it. Um, and when you when you driving up to it, you look, you like mm, that's a gas station. Mm. No, I'm not going in there. And then you, you, we rolled past it, came back. Yeah, the actual it. distillery. The actual distillery is a, is a gas station and the building next to it. Yeah. So what they did was uh, the story. Of my man, uh, uh, Michael was his name. He, because uh, he was actually tending the bar in it. We went, uh-huh. went to the tasting room. He okay. said they were actually a couple blocks down, uh-huh. and the rent had shot up, and everybody <laughs> they were, had to move. Everybody in the <laughs> complex had to move. All the businesses in this one particular building they were leaving. Yeah. So this building happened to be two blocks down. One of the guys said, hey, that's for sale. He went and checked it out and liked the space, turned it into a tasting room, and then bought the building next to it, the one behind it, and turned that into the distillery. So <laughs> they, it's a it's a nice, it's actually a really nice little setup. It just, when you roll up to it, it's just a white yeah, gas right. station. <laughs> and they outside cooking burgers, and yeah. they, you know, they got food, and they got food trucks coming through. Yeah. But the, the tasting room is actually just if straight up. Few couches, few chairs, and a bar. Yeah. That's it. Um, a lot of everything was clean. Everything was nice in there. The guy, like I said, the, the owner, he's in there serving the drinks and having mm-hmm. a conversation with him. So he started yeah. the company back in 2014. Started doing his own bourbon and rye in 2015, and this is what we get. I did taste the bourbon. It was okay. Um, Said not purchase worthy though. I didn't want to buy it only because it was kind of young. And you know me and young <laughs> yeah. whiskey don't get along. No. So you know, uh, I but. I did buy the Hellbender, but I have not tasted it. So I'm hoping that it's, uh, like I said, the flavors were good. I just didn't, it was still kind of young. So I got yeah. the bourbon. So I'm hoping this is a little better. Okay, yeah. cool. And the uh, the proof on that was 90. 92 proof. Okay. And I bought it for 42 bucks. 42. Oh, that's okay. not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Especially for rides, because a lot of rides are more expensive. So. Right. Now remember, your rides were the first whiskey. Yep, that's what you told so me. I, I didn't know right. until you mentioned it. Yeah, so, I had no idea. Uh, and everything that they do is locally sourced, so they get all their grains. From Georgia farms, gotcha. but they do everything local. That's what's up. Yeah. Have we ever had anything to steal in Georgia? Uh, I don't, not I don't think sure. so. Not on the show. I don't, so. I don't think so. All right, so let's uh let's take a look and see what this uh this cork is about. Now, last That's week we had a pretty this. we had a pretty good cork. So let's see what this week. Is. All right, boss, the cork. Okay. That's what it, oh, yeah. For that struggle. Hey, I was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> it was kind of tough to get out of here. And that's two um, synthetic corks in a row. It's been pretty good. Yeah. So. Did he say why he named it Helvin? I don't remember. Okay. I think oh, I asked him, but I don't remember okay. what, the, what the answer was. But uh, all of his, his his whiskey, his gin, they're all called um, Hellbender. His rum is just called Independent. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. But they don't have Hellbender on my size wrong, I thought it was. Yeah, definitely pepper off the top. A little sweeter than I'm thinking. Some fruitiness. I swear I got a hint. I got a hint of pear. You I know, oranges. I got oranges. Yeah. I got the yeah, I got a, could be oranges too. I got a sweet ass pear. I got a pear. Like one of them good ass pears though. Yeah, I got, I got orange. Yeah. No, no pear. I got orange. Damn. 
Why did you say it? Sorry, man. Really now that you say it, now I smell it. I hate that shit. I actually look at it. Taste the orange. Flavor profile, man. You taste the orange, I'm real. Yeah. Off real, I, I get the pepper. And, and, and then, yeah. then, I, then like, uh, I smell pear, but I get, it, it is a little citrusy, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, not really, it's not candy sweet like what we had last mm -hmm. week. You know, it's, it's more like a kind of a natural, subtle yeah, sweetness to it. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, nice little hug. It's 92 proof, right? 92. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Could be a little stronger. If it was a little stronger, it'd just be, I'd say it'd be damn good if it was a little bit stronger. This flavor profile. It's a decent for a yeah. ride. Because I don't. It's a classic ride, though. It's yeah. a classic ride. It's not as peppery. So, like I was saying about the other brand uh, off, off air, it's not as peppery as that. So I can I can deal with right. I can deal with it. So it's subtle. Every, every yeah, subtle. It's subtle. Yeah, yeah. It's not overpowering, but just enough that you get the right taste, the right even, feel. Even the orange is faint. Like it, yeah. it start off at the beginning, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. even faint. So yeah, you know what Actually, it reminds me of a, a, a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys ever had it, but the Crown Royal uh, uh, Winter Harvest or Fall Harvest, something like that. Yeah, I think it's called. I think it's winter. Yeah, winter. Something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, it, it can kind of remind me of that a little bit. Kind of the same profile, the little sweetness at the end, you know, pepper that hits you right up front. You know, it's kind of soft. I like it though. I'm saying the 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 experience of being at their place was cool. Yeah, it was a good atmosphere. Everybody was extremely friendly. Mm -hmm. now, you know how Atlanta is. It's, you yeah, you're not necessarily in a black area or a white area. Right. Everything just mixed in. And exactly. So, yeah. like I said we're in Decatur. It's a cool place to sit. Uh, if you just out hanging out, you want to. Chill out of the spot, have some pretty good whiskey, decent conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. like even from the couple that was next to me and my brother, we were they talked to us the whole time we were in there, mm -hmm. and all of the persuasion. Like, yeah. You know, a lot of times you go places they don't talk to you. And he's the one in yeah. Atlanta, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody in there was cool. Like I said, they were out there cooking burgers and had the barbecue mm -hmm. going. Uh, on top of the food truck that was on its way there, mm -hmm. so they got a whole little scene gotcha. where they got a vacant lot next to it. So I think they use that sometimes for parking and stuff. Gotcha. So it's it's a cool little experience. You know? I will tell you this so, though, it's a hell of a long finish. Yeah, it's still hell long. long. Yeah, hell it's long. long. And it went from the back of my ear to like down to here somewhere. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's a hell of a long, long finish. I said I lighter. I ain't fucked with it with a cigar here. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it is a long finish though, which is good. I like it, man. I actually. I, Honestly, I, I, I like it. And I'm yeah. glad that I like it because are they selling it up like here anywhere? Like no. No. Uh, okay. I, I, I was looking so. around and I don't know. You know, Michigan and their laws are a little different. Yeah, but weird. Stuff, yeah. So. But if, I, I know they do let you order. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can't order from them. Now see with the uh with the cigar, it's tasting more like pears now. Like okay. it's like the it's like the smoke completely got rid of the orange taste for me. Like I, I smelt the pears off rib. And now with the cigar, it kind of it tastes more like pears than orange now. So even it but it all it almost do kind of taste citrusy though. Like I is it a combination of both? Like citrus and like could it be? I, I, I smell like I smell pep, you know, got that pepper. Mm -hmm. Then I initially got pear. Right. And, and I think there is a citrus smell there. It might be orange or whatever you think it, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I I do taste it. I know mm -hmm. that much. I do taste it. So yeah. uh, not bad. I got it. I'm like, and I, I'm excited to say that too because, like, rise have to. I see what you're saying with the pear. You now, say, say, now you taste it with the cigar. I'm telling now you, I taste it with the cigar. Yeah, that's I crazy. So that that's we're smoking, to the, we're smoking an illegal yep. um, cigar. Really mm -hmm. good if you ever get a hold of. But the fact that the fact that it kind of changes with the smoke kind of speaks to the complexity of. Of this one. Absolutely. So I, I think this is this is I'm, dope. I yeah, like, like this I said, shit. I, I just said it about eight times already, but I'm but I'm really impressed with the paper profile on this. Man. I, like, I wow. agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Damn. All right. So uh, we get ready to go to commercial break. Of course, there uh, we go. I might actually pour me a little bit more. <laughs> this is better than I thought it was going to be, right? But uh, we'll be back right after this commercial break, and then on the other side of the commercial, of course, we're going to give our one to five Black Power Fist ratings, man. One to five. We'll be back right after this, of course. With the homies, Angry Principal and Bo holding it down. And of course, your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205, man. See you on the other side.
visit the website right now www.everybodylovesbbw that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast and we're back thanks for hanging out through the commercial breaks you already know what it is bbw beards bourbon whiskey the podcast got my man angry principal and bo holding it down and of course mr boy q lewis holding it down live from the 4205 man Time for us to go ahead and give us some ratings. Uh, last week we started with Anchor Principles, so this week we're going to start with Bo. Uh, what you say, man? One to five, Black Power Fist rating. What you trying to give the hell? Back? I give it three and a half. Uh, I was I almost, I almost had four, and the reason I didn't say four is because it's, it's. I'd like it a little bit stronger, you yeah. know. I you understand, you know, a rise or rye, you know, but uh. Flavor profile is complex. It's you know you get that pepper. I wish it was a little stronger, but like I said, you know, rise or rise. But uh, I'm I'm surprised. I like it. I would definitely revisit for sure. Okay. Angry Prince, what you say? Now this this is your find, and of course you had the bourbon before, so the rye is something that you're just now trying. So you know what you say. All right. So much better than the bourbon. Much better than the bourbon. Uh, I don't know. I know it's the same mash bill. I don't know. Well, it's a similar mash bill. Okay. I don't know what the difference is, but the rye is turning out a lot better than the bourbon. So I'm going to give it a solid three. Um, I would drink this straight. I don't necessarily want to mix this. No. This is a sipper. This is an everyday sipper, especially if you have access to it down in uh, Decatur. You can get to to them and be able to buy it on the regular. Uh, this is a definite. They sell it all over Georgia, mm-hmm. but it's not sold in Michigan. So you have to pretty much order it. But, mm-hmm. uh, like I said, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed I went to the tasting room, talking to the owner, hearing his story about how they got through COVID and everything. I enjoy all that stuff. So uh, it's a solid three for me. It's uh, I would next time I'm in Atlanta, I'm definitely going back to get another bottle. Okay, for sure. Yeah, next time you go, let me know so I can send you a couple dollars. <laughs> I would like to have one as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so with that one, I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to give it a three point five uh, because I'm excited about it. Again, it takes a lot for a rye to like really excite me because I, I don't I don't normally like that profile. Uh this one it is peppery obviously because it's rye. Uh but I think the complexity of it, especially when it changed with the cigar is just it's impeccable. Like I, I can't lie. This is this is very surprising. I'm excited about it. I'm giving it a three point five. Flavor profile is good. Not too uh I know uh I know Bo said that he could he could use a, a little bit more kick. I'm cool with where is that it's good for me. Uh long finish so he can uh sip it a little bit. Kind of relax, smoke the cigar, watch a little TV, and it's still finishing. Like it's still it's, it's that long of a finish. So for me, I think it's it's a it's a dope product. Three point five for me, man. Uh, so we got what three point five over here and one three point oh. Uh, definitely. Uh, I think this is something that we would recommend. Uh, so even and, and I'll say this: even if you're not normally a classic ride drinker, I would still recommend this because I'm definitely not one, and I like it, so. Even if you're not a rye drinker, I would say this is one that you should kind of go ahead and check it out. You're you down in Atlanta. Go, ahead, uh, go talk to Michael, the guy that's behind the bar. Uh, yeah. Good behind, conversation. Behind the bar at the gas station. Yeah, at the gas station. <laughs> like I said, it was a great idea the way they did it. For so, sure. It looks nice. So that's you what's enjoy what's yeah. like. So I, I highly recommend dealing with the Hellbender and uh, what's rye, the bourbon, the rum, the vodka, and the gin. Okay. They got all of it. So. Gotcha. And their rum is really good. Okay, I enjoy the rum. I'm not yeah. the biggest rum drinker, but with that I enjoy. So, you like that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So go check them out. All right, for yeah. sure. Shout out to Hellbender, man. It's definitely uh some some good juice right here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Three point five and a three across the board. Make sure that uh, you don't just trust our palates. Go ahead and check them out. Though you can actually order from their website. Uh, I am recommending the, the Hellbender, so make sure you check that bottle out. Tell them that we sent you. You're not gonna get no money off of it, but it's still be kind of cool to get our name mentioned. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> on that note, we up out of here, man. We you about have our undying more. gratitude. How about that? There you go. Yeah. That was that was very yeah. That was grammatically correct and everything. Like I'm excited about that because we've been drinking enough where my words probably not gonna make sense after this. So we out of here. Until the next time, you already know what it is. BBW, man. Everybody loves BBW. This beer is bourbon whiskey. The podcast. Got my man Angry Prince on the bill. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bubble holding it down. Oh, two things, real quick. Ross, <laughs> I, I let you go done. last week. I ain't forgot. <laughs> and I'll shut. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding down live. Little boy, you're man.
Yeah. <laughs>